Well, hello everybody. It's Mark from One Day at a Time Farmstead. We're uh, we out here doing a little work. Um, so we did a clean up the other day for him. Um, God, cute, huh? Hey, Sylvia. <laughs> so, Gretel's over there scratching. I hear you. I'm coming to work on your water. So Cookie and Peanut broke their uh, broke their water system again. Yeah. Well, what's going on, guys? Hey, my girls. Hey, what you doing? Hey. So it's a pretty cloudy day today. Um. So. That little guy right there, he's supposed to be going to uh, his new home. Huh. Let's see what's going on with Cookie and Peanut. Cause <sighs> they done broke their water system. Look at that. M Molly. Molly. I think they get more food. I just just fed them. So we cleaned all this up the other day, which is gonna have to be clean again because they're uh, obviously they're making a mess again. That's what goats and chickens do. They make a mess. Huh? Hey Molly. Hey girl. Alright. Let's go over here and see what we can do with these guys. going on so and if anybody don't know yet uh, that girl over there over there that's cookie and that guy right there that's peanut peanut the pig dog and what they did is they've been bad I made them this war system they, um, they ripped it out the barrel, so it has some body and epoxy and we'll epoxy it in. See if we can't make it work. Bear with me guys, because we got a little work to do. Alright, alright, alright. Got to make some mess. Love. You don't want to get this epoxy and glue and all the PVC stuff in your hands. It's going to mess your hands up for days. So I'll be right back with y'all and we'll get some gloves and stuff. Alright. Up to the nipple and 
Great for the nipple. So, try to leave the drum on the outside. Just put the nipple for the fence, strap it to one of the T posts. And hopefully, um, uh, some of you are probably saying, I don't know why you just don't cut the top off. Well, I thought about cutting the top off, then I thought about, well, then the water's gonna get dirty. And then we're gonna have to constantly dump it and make a mess of the yard. So what I'm trying to do is one, I'm trying to save water. Um, you know, two, I'm trying to keep the yard from being so nasty and wet. I know they have that little dipping bucket that we have for them. Um, so just trying to make it look better for them. Um, I thought about putting them on an automatic water like we have for the goats and stuff, but they break them. They're real rough on stuff, so they just reach down and they grab the floats and they, they chew them out. So this is how we first had them on here on this system. When they were small. So they kind of um, blew up on this. So. But yeah, my other idea was to cut the top off, put the nipple in there, and then put um. Put top back on it or something. Then I thought about, well, I really don't want to do that, so we're gonna try epoxy on there. Got some epoxy. Anybody's been to their local hardware lately, but <laughs> stuff is crazy. From this year to last year's prices. So, the little goats are getting big, y'all. They're playing good. Um, but we are excited about the cookie and peanut getting together and making some bacon teas. This stuff is real easy. Just put a little dab out, mix it up. It comes out equal port parts. Excuse me, tongue tied. So I'm just gonna put a few, uh, few dabs right here and mix them up. I'm put the lid back on it. We have it for later. Mix this stuff up. Mix this stuff good.
it says 15 minutes. Alright, so you let that sit 15 minutes. Uh, I had to go get more um more cat food today. So we went and got more cat food. Look dingy duck and more our chickens or our hens sleeping over there so I'm gonna go put this cat food in the cat food bowl Baby goats like Silly and that would come to us. We've been trying to get them where they would come to us. So we're gonna go in here and bring a little food with me. Let's go see. Let's go see what they're gonna do. They already coming to me. Oopsie. Hey guys, come on. So we did feed them this morning, y'all. We just
All right. <laughs> I hear you. Them old bucks over there back in rut. They want their girls back. So. Oh. We don't knock it over. Come on, get out. Get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Well, they act like they have never been fed, but they've been fed twice or right. <laughs> Molly, Gretel. Come here, baby. Come here. Uh, easy, easy, easy. Uh, so this little guy right here, he's going to uh, sister-in-law's house, Jean's sister. gonna be her baby. So if you watch him, I've been playing with him, trying to get him calmed down. So, I like put a little food out right like this, and we uh, Molly. Good grief! No, it's on the house. <laughs> Precious. You know, what's amazing though is one day, you know, we just had her, we had this one, we had that one. 
then all of a sudden we had, you know, we got Sylvia and Mocha and we got a little brown bump right there. Well, she's got to find another home because we have too many bucks, so that would be something that we'll be doing. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, baby. Um, Molly. Hey. Quit that. Precious. Precious. Come here. I guess I'll get y'all some more in a minute. Wow, y'all, come on now. Come here, come here. Food all over your mouth. Look at pig in front of the camera. Oh, that's a pig. Cooking peanut, probably give me. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful thing to watch them all. We just get to come sit down with them. Like I'm doing right now, just let them, just let them play with you. Hey girl. What you doing? What you doing? Hey. See this thing in here? Nothing left. Oh. Hey. A bit different uh, goat feed than what we normally get from the place to play. So, uh, my way of work, I, I stopped that two three sacks for this. It's a little bit finer, a little bit different. They grind it up a little bit more. But I don't know if they really like it. I kind of wonder if it's even filling them up because they're acting different on it. So I just want to mention that because it's something that we, uh, we stopped that a little different. Hey, but Monday, uh, G's gonna go make another food run and get the uh, stuff that we normally do. He is so pretty. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna be a beautiful little buck. Precious, don't knock the camera over. Precious. Guys, I've really just been wanting to get Tom to come sit with him again. Um, been busy. 
seems like you spend almost all your life just working to take care of stuff. Wife, kids, yourself. So, that's real goat life right there, folks. But look how beautiful. I mean, real and truthy. You just don't. <laughs> you just don't get any better than this. And I do try to come out here and sit with them and just... That's how you tame them down. You get you get out here, you get with them, you play with them. And eventually there's a lot coming to you, huh? I'm huh. yeah, my, my precious here, my little spoil. She's full. She lived in a camper for a little while with us. When we first got her, because we were scared to put her out. My wife's like, just let her stay in here for a couple weeks till she get a little bigger. And we did. She stayed in a camper with us. You can tell that we're uh, we're all about the babies. You know? so, a little fun. Precious. You gotta be so mean. Like I said, we're not sure about this new feed. We're uh, trying it out. It's, it's ground up a little bit more finer than what we like. So. Um, You know, you gotta be real careful feeding these goats. All kinds of stuff. Good healthy diet is important for them so they don't get goat bloat. Because when we first got her, she had goat bloat really bad. And, um, it was a problem getting her stomach to heal. She's better now. That comes head but me. Goat life is totally different. A lot of you out there would know what I'm talking about. You don't choose them, they choose you, huh? Come on. Huh. I had a goat. We had a, we, when we rescued her, I had to chase her down. The field was all grown up about this high. And, you know, the lady's like, oh, be careful of rattlesnakes and stuff. And I'm like, great. So, we. We ran her and ran her around and found out, I said, well, if I can get her to a corner, you know, and that's what we did. We ran them to a corner and then they had a couple pieces of stuff. I just took a, just a quick makeshift gate and started pushing them. But I'm going to tell you, you go grab a hole of these big goats, like, like little buck and some of that, they got some power. They'll drag you around like you're nothing. They're pretty strong and they will hurt you. It will hurt you. Precious head butted me one time. I was patting her like this, and she had, she shot head but she knocked me out one more time. Huh. So we've been getting some beautiful eggs. Chicken's been well. Everything's been doing good. Um, everything's doing good. Uh, so we're excited about cooking peanut. Doing, they doing good. So get this water working again. Hopefully they quit tearing that up. <laughs> so kept fresh water all day. So hey, hey, come here. Be precious. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna buy this food anymore. It's, I don't like the way. Hey, look. Hey, come here. Hey.
So yeah, everybody's doing good. to us yet please do and, uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, on Tuesday I know, I'm just trying to think of what I was going to say on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Mississippi time central time we're in Mississippi uh, it's alive we can talk about everything and anything um, so, uh, Rebecca made, me, made some hats for us Rebecca touched by yarn made some hats for us. I can't wait for to come in the mail so I can show y'all. So that's coming up. Um, uh, oh yeah, um, so we got a logo made. So uh, plan on doing something with that and getting uh, get the t-shirts and stuff made. And plus we're going to have a lot of these characters on, on the shirts, you know, their face or something to incorporate with every one of them here. We all part of it. We're all family. Hey, uh, dude, don't have my camera. Over. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, let's not scratch your horns. Hey, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Here we go. Goat time's over with. Uh, see them knuckleheads over there? I think she's back. And uh, they're trying to get to her. So I don't know if Jean's ready for that yet because uh, quite haven't recovered from. But we still got one buck we got to get rid of. And now these chickens right here, they taking a dust bath. It helps them with their skin and stuff. So that's what they do. doing. I don't know if you can see them, but Simon and Sullivan are usually white. And then I turn yourself brown because or what they're doing to themselves. Nice, nicely being said, they're, you know, well, I, those of you out there in the goat, goat world knows what I'm talking about, what they're doing. Basically, they're in rut. Um, she's probably back in, in her cycle. That's why she's laying against the fence. So, this is what's going on. So, they want to make more babies. Basically. So, we just gotta figure out if we're gonna let them do that. So, um, as we make more babies, that little dude. What y'all doing? Come here. Hey. Girls getting big, y'all. Well, you can't lead up against me like that, girl. You're too heavy for that now. You're not a little baby no more. What y'all think she weighs? 250? Hey. 
Hey, if y'all watching this video, y'all can put a weight in and see what she weighs. Just for fun. What are you doing, Peanut? Come here. Come here. What? Those ducks are fussing. I'll get them a little bit more food. They act like they're hungry still. I'll give them a little more food. I'm still trying to get this water system to to work. So, yep. the Foxy's taking his time drying, so we got to let it dry. In the meantime, give them all a bit more more food. What? What, Molly? Mm -hmm. We normally give them a full bucket in the morning. A bunch of scraps that we we gave to him a little while ago. So we're gonna just give him a little bit more, I guess. Get some water. Just clean that thing out too. I'm fed, y'all. hungry. <laughs> that will give them a bit more. See if that makes the day. We'll let that dry for a few hours. We fill it back up with water. Hopefully it holds good. Problem solved. No. Y'all have been eating all day. That's all y'all been doing. Nana, way over there, by them bucks. <laughs> we may put her in there. Oh, that Simon and Sullivan. One of them comes over here. All right, guys. I think that's gonna be it for today. A few more things to do. But, um, I don't know. It's kind of a relaxing day, I guess. Lay back. We'll catch y'all later. They like the tripod. They really do. Precious. Let's go see how many eggs we have, because I didn't pick them up yet. What?
Man. See how they start fighting? That's why you don't want too many bucks. They're fighting. And they stink really bad. <laughs> so yeah, they... Look, he's sniffing. He's trying to, he's sniffing for that female. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, a little buck's doing it. <laughs> hey, little buck. Look at that. Yeah, so he's sniffing too. What are y'all doing? Y'all still trying to tear the tripod up? Let's see what we got going on here. Uh oh. One sitting right there. I don't know. I told my wife I didn't want. Well, we all know about how this is about to go down. Ouch! Ouchie! You can't have all these eggs. Good grief, girl. Ow. So she's trying to sit. I don't want her sitting. So, we're not going to actually let her sit. You can see on my hand, she's, she's trying to tear me up. But I really don't want her sitting right now because it's almost winter time. That means you get a bunch of broody, broody mama sitting on all your eggs. You won't have any eggs. Oh, come on, guys. There goes my tripod. So, yeah. And we got the two roosters over here. They being stupid. <laughs> Defense. Come on. Come on, get, get me my tripod back. What are y'all doing? You're a mess. What's going on today in the farm, huh? So we got a few eggs from the Brody mama. We don't want them sitting too much right now. Oh, you get some milk? It's time, huh? You wean them off, huh? It's amazing how fast that goes. You know, one minute they're not here, next minute they're born, and next minute you're figuring out what you're gonna do with them. I know my wife's keeping her for sure. She's not letting her go. So, we didn't get around to milking them. I just got so busy, y'all. All right, we're gonna get around to it. So, she refuses to stay in the coop. Put her back all the time. She flies over and she wants to run around, so I just let her run around. Mm 
Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let it dry some more, y'all. It's not. I'm gonna give it a couple more hours, probably. It's not sitting up like I want to, so. We're gonna let this dry. And then, um. It's not. Still sticky. So we're gonna let that dry for a few more minutes. I will, uh, show y'all them drinking out once I get them set up. I'll go lay down and take a break. So guys, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna end it there. We thank y'all for watching. One day at Tom Farmstead, it's Mark. Just hanging out with the, with the farm animals. You know, giving them a little love, taking care of a few things, so. Um, <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> There's my baby, huh? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Sweet little boy right there. So, I guess we'll catch y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. And please hit that like button, subscribe, um, so we can give y'all notifications with more videos coming up. So we really do appreciate it. Thank y'all.